Okay, guys, we're just going to hit the ground running with this one. So um, I did the haul earlier for our impressions items I had picked up recently and some scrapbook.com items. Um, I'll have links um, for what I'm using here in the description box, and those will be affiliate links, meaning that if you make any purchases through those links, I will make a small commission. So thank you, guys. Um, and I told you guys when I did the video that I would do the wheelies or possibly this guy today. So I'm going to wait for this one. There are a lot of pop-up cards. Um, like this, the pop cards that Art Impressions does. They're not always like the snowman. I have the teacup one. I have the little like birdhouse one. I have um, one that's like a, a vanity, I think. I feel like, I think. And is there a roses one? I, I pretty much have all of them. <laughs> so um, again, they currently have a promo. I'll have the information in the description box. Basically 25% off the site. Um, Unless it's a sale item already, so you can 20% off regular prices, should I say. But they also, and that sale ends on the 27th, so really quickly in a couple days. So if you're going to use that one, you want to do it kind of soon, an art impression site. The 20% off the holiday section, which I'll have a link to the holiday section because it's hard to navigate unless, you know, you find it. Um, I don't know how. Just look up, I guess, things that have to do with holiday. But um, they have 20% off that section. That does include sale items. So use whichever, you know, code you would like. That one ends at the end of the month. So you have a little more time to use the holiday one, right? And again, it's not just Christmas and things like that. It's like pretty much any holiday. So I'm going to do these today. And I'm going to do this one because I guess we're in Christmas in July. But I really want to do the little cat. He's so cute. They're both so cute. But, you know, I love my snowman. And let's continue with Christmas in July. So what this card does, it's interactive. So it is going to take a couple steps. And basically the person who, or yourself, whoever gets it, can turn it on the back. And then the little, it looks like he's uh, riding his little bike, right? Like interactively. So obviously there's going to be work, some work to do. There are instructions here. Um... I'm not going to bother too much with the instructions because I have some idea of what to do with these. Like when I first ordered them, I kind of looked it up on Art Impressions. Um, you know, whenever you go to their site and then they have a certain product or whatever, let's say you click on it, they'll have little video snippets there or little videos you can watch right away, which is really great. So you can kind of see what it's about without, you know, having to go too far looking for anything. So um, we have the little wheel and the little turn and we're going to use those in a minute. Uh, for right now, what I'm going to do is stamp out certain things. So... It comes with all the dies you need. And what's cool is that every set pretty much has the turn dies and the die to make your little apparatus. And even though they could have sold that separately. I know with some of the other items they do sell um, things that the whole lineup would need separately. But it's kind of nice that they're already here. So I'm going to put this to the side for now because we do not need these items. You have brads. We'll use the brads in a little bit. Um, the one thing I do need is some adhesive. Oh, is this it? I was like, I know I used to have little pop dots, but I think this might be a little bit too big. We will see. Um, yeah, you need... Like a quarter inch circle. I might have some, but I was just thought it was funny that I had some sitting right in front of me that I was like, oh wait, that might work. You need a little bit of dimensional adhesive. We'll talk about that when we get there. So for right now, I... Now you can stamp this right on a card base, color him in, and then do all your accessory pieces. Um, again, stamp him right on there, and you would go from there. But I want to layer it up, so I'm going to stamp him on here. But behind that, I'm going to have this little piece of blue um, snowflake paper I got from the Crafters Companion Christmas Compendium, which is back in stock. I'll have a link for that if you guys would like to uh, click on that there and check that out. And I'm going to line it up on here, and then I'm going to put it on my card base. So there's one extra step we have to do because of that. If not, if you were just stamping this on a white card, you didn't have to do anything else that I show you later. But uh, for now, we're going to do this. I'm going to use a stamping tool. I suppose, just in case, but I think we'll be okay. I am going to use my Spectrum Noirs, I believe, to color this in, or maybe a mix of Spectrum Noir markers and Arteza markers. It just depends on what colors I need. I realized today in a different video that you guys will see tomorrow that um, the Tri-Blends don't have like a bright red. They don't have like a bright green. It's really weird. I never noticed until now that I'm doing Christmas things. I'm like, hmm, that's odd. So I'm going to use... I keep doing this. I keep wanting to reach for my Versafine. I would love to watercolor this, to be honest, but I know um, that's not for everybody, and right now I just want to get this done kind of quick. So I'm going to do the alcohol proof dye ink. I'm just trying to rub the dispersion layer off of this um, stamp. They are photopolymer stamps, so they're high quality, awesome stamps. Um, Art Impressions does clear stamps, they do red rubber stamps, cling stamps, you know, um, because they basically start off with red rubber stamps and. Um, for their watercolor line, you pretty much have to have a red rubber stamp or, you know, a clean stamp like that. So that's what they stick with. But for some of the newer things, they do uh, use photopolymer. 
And it says they make them in-house, and I don't know. See, it didn't, I didn't get a good impression on that one because I missed that section. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I did not, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you know, they have a little factory or maybe just make the rubber ones. I don't know. Let me stamp that again and really focus on that middle part that I missed. Okay, that's better. So, we have that guy. And then, uh, let me clean this off and put him away, and then I need to stamp a couple other I'm things. I'm gonna put him away. I'm gonna put this to the side for just a second. I'm gonna stamp a couple other pieces that we need for his little um, legs, right? Because that's part of the interactive part. So we need his little foot <laughs> area here. We need his little thigh. And... Oh, is that it? Oh, we need the wheel. I was like, uh, there's another piece. I know there's another piece that we need. So this little wheel here. All right, I'm giving them some space because we're going to cut these out with um, dies and I don't want to overload them too much. I might stamp that wheel with VersaFine because I know the VersaFine will stick and I don't need to color it. So <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink this guy up real nice. Oh, actually, we do need to color it gray. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Let me go back. Sorry, guys. I was like, I'm going to make this real smooth, <laughs> smooth video. Um, I thought it was a solid black line. It's not. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Let's go back to alcohol proof ink for the, all of it. I learned earlier in another video I was making. Um, it's kind of nice to stamp in VersaFine first anyway, because it kind of helps the next ink that you put on it stick because the Versafine has just like a little something, a little stickiness to it. Let's see. Okay. So cute. I like the way they do their stamps. Like, it's like if it was hand drawn almost, you know what I'm saying? Like the little like etches and skips. And that's not because it didn't stamp right. It's because that's how they uh, created the stamp. So kind of cute. Okay. I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Actually, there's one more thing we need. I'll do that in a minute. I wanted to get all the stamping done and out of the way, but there is one more thing we do need, but I will get to that when we get to that. I did open my window, guys, so you might hear some extra birds and everything else out there. So I'll bring these things back. I'm gonna grab some Spectrum Noir or whatever alcoholic markers I need to color stuff in, and I'll show you a little bit of that, and then I'll do it on my own. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything too fancy. Um, that's what it was. You know, there's no black in those tricolors, and maybe it's just me, but I don't have a black one. So uh, I have my Ever Everblends. Again, our is currently having a, um, a sale and uh, it seems like it's a good one. So if you want to check that out, I will have my um, Arteza discount code in there. I don't know if they work together though, so just so you guys know. So um, what I like to do is whenever I have something like this, like snowy looking or kind of pale, I'm just going to bring in the lightest like blue, whatever, and just add a little bit of color here and there. Um, I'm not really paying attention to what would be shadows or anything like that. I just lay some color on there okay and then the tire obviously you can color it in um, again there's no black in that set so I'm gonna use these guys I have koala gray and I can just color in the whole wheel we're gonna have to when we cut this out I'm assuming actually it probably doesn't matter there's a little dot right there that you're supposed to line up your die with but since it's a circle I have a feeling it doesn't matter but you definitely want to cover up that dot if it's see-through because then you're gonna be like oh why is there a dot there and another thing I just noticed when I stamped this guy is, so that's koala gray, and here's black if I wanted to come in with some black, but I, I don't really, I don't know if I need it, but I'll just add some little accents here and there. Um, I stamped him like going uphill. Do you see that? Because <laughs> his front, he should be like this, right? Kind of level. But I'm just going to go ahead and make a little background that makes it look like he's like woo, on his way up. Okay. So we want to... Ooh, stamp him flat, that'd probably be better. So again, I'm gonna go through with like the blue. Um, for the black hat, I'm gonna use the koala gray, add a little accents of black, maybe give him a little red band, I don't know. I have some orange, I have some green for the little Christmas tree in here. So I'm just gonna go through and color everything, and um, when I come back, we will be ready to start doing the next steps. Okay, before we start with the base of the card, I just finished this up. Um, I probably need to come in and, like I said, I'm just gonna do a little something, but just more like a little shadow, but at the same time, you know, he's on his way. <laughs> so funny. I was like, I could just stamp it again, but no, no. I want him to go up the hill. <laughs> All right, guys. 
we're making it so that he's just trudging up a little hill there. And you can do more. I'm just kind of adding a little something because I'm using uh, alcohol markers. You can color that whole thing. I just, I'm not good at that. So I'd rather, if I was going to do that, have done watercolor or something. But, so we have a few things to cut. So let's pop this guy out. And this guy. And what I do like is that you see those little black dots, right? Like this little dot here, this little dot here. That really does help you line up a lot. You would think it doesn't do nothing because it's just kind of small and stuff. That's a huge help. So when you go to line them up, make sure you can see that little black dot. Because you can see, you can't see it right now, right? There's like a little partial of maybe some white background. If you really line it up, you should hit both black dots just like that. And you're going to be golden, okay? So make sure to stick that down pretty well. I'll do the same thing for that little thigh piece. Again, look through the little black dots. I think this is pretty much the same one way or the other. It's symmetrical. So we're gonna stick that down. And then for this guy, we need this middle piece taken out. And we need this, actually, let me check on that. I do think we need to remove that, but let me just make sure I'll read oh, over the instructions. And this outer one, we just need this piece even though it does line up and you could leave out there you don't want it right now <laughs> you need this to help you cut this piece right here so again this guy line it up with that little black dot and you're golden let me just make sure I think it might have moved where's my black dot there we go all right I'm gonna roll this through and then we're gonna work on the body part but let me do this first I'm just gonna cut out on the marquee and I'll be right back so this is the the method that I want to do so we can get his leg going and then we're gonna cut the little body dies and then we're going to cut um how you want to set this up so i thought this made more sense in my mind but do it however you like so i have these little pieces here and we are going to assemble this okay so this is his little leg that's on the outside we're going to need several brads i don't know how many i just have a few in my hand so i'm going to take his little foot and put the die the die <laughs> the brad through his little foot oopsie that's a small one Remember I bought extra brads through Art Impressions and then I picked some up um, on uh, a cherry on top. Okay, so we got that one, right? The little foot into the wheel. You can color the spoke. I might go back and do that. I don't know. And then we're going to put one through his leg into his thigh. Now you can put the thigh on top. You can put it on the bottom. I mean, I guess it's up to you. I'm just putting it here. You know what's funny? It doesn't, to me, it doesn't look like it's, it looks symmetrical, but it's a little bit wider over here. So good thing I cut it right. <laughs> so just pay attention to that. It looked like it was the same, but so I'm putting the chunkier part of his thigh up. I hope that's what you were supposed to do. I don't know if that's too tight or not. Let me, I haven't made one of these before guys. So we're just trying it out. I have no idea. It may be that I did that too tight, but okay. So the next thing we would do is put this onto his body okay but I'm not doing it yet because I was going to um, wait to do all these holes so on this one I just need to put this tiny guy I want you to notice there are two of these right there's a larger one that's gonna make a larger hole and this tiny tiny one that's just a little hole on the inside so that's the one we're gonna use right now and to be honest I don't know what this circle is for maybe it's uh, if you want to do another um, a wheel I guess and just to make it look cute you know just if the other ones popped out that one can be popped out but I'm not going to take the time to do that today, but I guess you could do that, which would be really cute. Just so that dimensionality, right? Um, so then we're going to line that guy up. And tape it down. <laughs> do this very carefully. I think if that one shifts a little bit, it's not the biggest deal. I am going to use my um, mark no, marquee. What's this thing called? My Anna Griffin Empress to cut the rest of the card. So I'm just going to go ahead and start using that now. So I'm going to put that in there, put this on here, and roll this through if I didn't have a bunch of papers sitting in front. be a lot easier if you have a clean area <laughs> with the, everything you just hauled sitting in a pile here. Let me move my haul stuff out of the way. So I'm trying to do this as like step by step in my mind that would be good but hopefully that's working so all we're doing is popping out that little tiny dot right there okay and before I attach his leg because I am layering this onto another card 
Um, if this was your card front, it would be no big deal. Just go on to the next step, okay? But since I want to layer this on a few little cards here. Oh, let's move that. Okay. I'm going to stick that down so I don't lose that little guy. Um, I'm going to take all my pieces that I was going to layer up because I need to make a hole here and that hole needs to go through the whole card and I don't want to do it here and then match it up and then try to do it again so I'm going to do it all at once so this is a standard A2 size card eight and a half by five and a half I'm going to score it at four and a quarter but I'm just folding it this little piece of paper here is uh, five I'm going to stick this one down completely because I don't have to wait on that one this one is five and a quarter by four and like I said I'm going to go ahead and stick this one down See, the other day I knew I broke this thing, or maybe not me, but I was using it and it just went brrr, and I didn't want to keep going anymore, so apparently it broke again. <laughs> I'm always getting those things broken. I'm just going to stick that down. So this is my second mat. And this is recollections paper, and then this is very thin uh, paper again from that Crafters Craft uh, Companion Compendium. So two thin papers, and then this guy's gonna go here. I am not going to completely stick this down because I need to remove it in just a second, but I'm gonna put a little bit of tape to help me so it doesn't move, okay? So I just put a little bit on there just to pop that down. Now we're gonna take this guy. And to be honest, I wanna remove the rest of this little piece that's poking out, so I'm gonna try to use my wire cutter, get rid of that little piece of Okay, whenever there's extra pieces that you don't need, try to get rid of them because they can sometimes mess up your stuff. We're going to take that guy and put him right here. And where's a little tape? Just a little tape. I stick a lot of tape to my tripod legs, so I always have <laughs> tape here too. So I'm going to stick that down. Again, kind of eyeballing it. It's not the biggest deal. It'll be fine. So I'm going to run all these layers through at once. That way it cuts through all of them and I don't have to fuss with it later. And the reason I'm not sticking it down yet is because we have to attach the leg before you attach it to your background. Again, if you were just doing it right into your card front, you don't have to do this part yet. You would just put that little hole on the wheel part and that's it. But since I want my card to have layers and look, you know, a little finished, a little more finished, I'm doing it this way. Ooh. Yes, and I was wondering if it was going to cut through all of them, but I wanted that indentation at least, so I knew exactly where to put it. Let me take that off. I'm going to remove this, because remember I only stuck it down a little bit, because I need to do some work on that. And then it's almost popped all the way through, but not quite, so I'm going to pop out the snowflake, and I'm going to do it again. But that way I marked it, and I didn't have to keep... Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope so. I know you guys do. I just didn't want to have to keep marking it or mark it with a pencil and then what if it's off and all that. So to me it was easier to just pretty much almost do it together. So now I just pop that back in that same hole. Boom. Put some tape. And I'm going to run it through again. So I'm just going to run through my card and I'll be right back. Okay. So there we go. So that's all lined up. Okay. So I'm going to do is take this little guy and I'm going to put the leg on and again just put the brad through there through here okay so the last thing we're gonna do is stick that down okay so it's supposed to move when we do our little turning it'll turn I know it seems weird but it'll turn don't <laughs> don't worry it'll do it but uh, let me just get this going here okay and so um, we need to stick this down and we need to put the little turn circle. Uh, do I have space on here? I don't know if I have space on here to do it, let's see. No, let me grab another little piece of paper that we're gonna cut and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're almost there. I'm just gonna put this to the side. I need the other stamp that says turn. But you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out first I think and then stamp it. Yeah, because it's just this thing. And then we need this piece. So these are the two mechanisms that we need for the um, for the thing to actually work. So I'm just going to cut these out from this scrap paper. And this is actually uh, watercolor paper I just found. I'm like, yeah, that's good. Just a little something. It'll work. So I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to trim this one out with my 
die cutter and I'll be right back. Okay, so that one fell right out. And I'm leave those here. And basically we just need this to say turn. It's our little instruction. And then we're gonna need a piece of foam adhesive. And I was looking for my foam dots. I don't know that I have any smaller ones. So I'm just gonna cut one down and hopefully it works. Um, and that'll help because in case you don't have them either, don't fret, okay? So I'm just gonna take the same ink and just stamp on here. Got our turn. And then this little guy is our little piece that we're gonna glue together and then glue on there and that helps you with your mechanism. Let's see, this glue has been giving me trouble because it's drying out almost. There we go. I'm gonna hold this until it closes up. And of course you can use a dry adhesive, but I always like using wet glues when it's something that's gonna be worked with a lot or just in case, because you never know, you don't want uh, a dry adhesive to pop open later. With a wet glue, unless they tear it, it's not really gonna pop open. So I'm gonna hold this for a little while until okay, it sticks. And then a little more glue on this base part here. Stick it on here. I know things like this do take time. They take steps. And to be honest though, with this one, it's not that complicated. Um, this is my first one, so I had to really kind of pay attention to like, okay, which hole goes where, you know, kind of thing. But I think if I was to make, obviously I'm gonna make more and more of them, um, it's not gonna be a problem. I need a color in my little, I didn't do his scarf or his red. <laughs> so I'll get that colored in, don't worry, uh, before I take the pictures, but uh, it's not a big deal. That's too funny. Do, do, do. Okay, so I'm And I'm just gonna hold this until okay. it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down at this point. Because like I said, we just need to put his leg on, so that's why I couldn't stick it down earlier. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick it down now. I'm gonna really get around this area though, just in case. <laughs> like his little leg just flies around. There's a, a lady on a exercise equipment too that's really funny looking. Uh, that one's really cute. Okay, let's put that there. I hope that's good enough. I might have, you saw I moved it a little bit. That was my bad. So I'm gonna make sure that that's not gonna impede anything. Okay, that's much better. So I just did that just in case. Now this piece is gonna come back here and then this little guy is gonna stick on the top of that. But we need our little piece of foam adhesive. And you guys saw that I had these ones and they're a little bit big. So what I'm gonna do is take one and try to snip around it, keeping it round, right? I'm trying to keep it round. You wanna keep it round. <laughs> and I'm just gonna snip in here. I suppose you can fashion your own if you didn't have round ones. But it's supposed to be about a quarter inch. Mine's gonna be whatever it needs to be to fit in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just eyeballing this. Oh, my son's having a good day up there, apparently. Something. Uh, okay, let's see here. And I can just pop it in here and see if that's freewheeling enough. Nope. I'm going to continue working on this and chop it down a little more. This dimensional adhesive too is super dimensional. I know I have some that's less and maybe that's probably what I need to use, but this one's super thick. Okay, I'm going to keep going around until I get it chopped down a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to do this from the back because I think that's easier for me to see from the front to the back. So I'm going to stick this little piece down. I think this will fit in there. It'll look like it might. And I'm going to stick that kind of towards the center, obviously. Okay. And we have our little turn handle. I'm just going to make sure before I... Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to take the back of this thing off. And this is our moment of truth. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared, not going to lie. Okay. Well, let's put his leg the right way. That'd be good. Okay, there we go. And this should sit on top of there. Push that down just to hold on really well. So whenever you close this, this will lay flat and you can send it flat, obviously, right? So the person gets their little card. Oh, that's so cute. You know, what's that about? And then when they open it up, it says turn and then they turn it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I told you, moment of truth. I don't know if I did this right at all. <laughs> Where is he going? Oh, he's going backwards. There we go. There we go. We just had to work him out. <laughs> so I was like, this is not, he had to get the kinks out, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. All right, well, 
that was fun for a first try. So I will definitely do the little cat guy. I will try and get some quarter inch round adhesive. I think I have it. I have it in an Atta Griffin kit, but I cannot find it. It's all adhesives and it's like squares and rectangles and circles and all kinds of stuff. So I think I'll have one in there. But how funny is that? Oh my gosh. I had to work the kinks out. There we go. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.